the Canadian government used NAFTA talks on Tuesday to warn the Trump administration that Washington's bid to rewrite the deal's automotive section in favor of the United States would backfire and cost Americans jobs and profits. In Mexico City, where the fifth round of North America free trade agreement negotiations wrapped up on Tuesday, the Canadian team made a presentation outlining how destructive and self-defeating it believes the rules of origin proposals would be. Sources familiar with the talks outlined the conversation taking place behind closed doors. Story continues below advertisement. The Canadians cautioned their U.S. counterparts that the Detroit three automakers General Motors, Ford and Fiat Chrysler would suffer the most damage if these American demands were adopted, sources familiar with the negotiations said. This is because the changes would drive up the cost of making vehicles in the United States. Canada told the Americans it estimated the United States would lose 21,000 jobs as the increased costs of manufacturing reduced exports outside the NAFTA zone by 1.4 million autos a year equivalent to the annual output of five or six plants. The Canadian presentation said these proposals would ultimately encourage automotive interests to move manufacturing outside North America and end up benefiting offshore automakers including those in South Korea. Europe and Japan which would build vehicles abroad and then pay tariffs to sell into the U.S., Canadian and Mexican markets. Last month, U.S. negotiators laid down stringent demands for the automotive portion of a new NAFTA proposals that have since been opposed by automakers and parts suppliers and rejected by Canada and Mexico as unworkable. Washington said it wants to rewrite the deal so that vehicles manufactured in North America could only qualify for duty-free access to the American market if they contain at least 50% U.S. content and 85% North American content. Foreign Affairs Minister Christia Freeland said the Trudeau government is pushing for Washington to address the likelihood, supported by fact-based research, that the auto rule changes would have the opposite effect of what the U.S. Intends. We have heard from the auto sector not only in Canada but also in the United States that some of the proposals would not only be harmful for Canada but would be harmful for the U.S. As well, she told reporters in Ottawa on Tuesday. Story continues below advertisement. Story continues below advertisement. M.S. Freeland said it's now up to the Americans to address the data presented by Canada. Do you agree with our facts or do you disagree with our facts? These are facts we've gained from working very hard with industry on both sides of the border. It's that fact-based approach that we've really been pushing. Sources familiar with the NAFTA negotiations said the Canadians prefaced their presentation in Mexico City by noting how healthy the U.S. auto sector appears today. The Canadians observed that employment has climbed about 6% on a year-over-year -year basis during the last decade, and that investment in U.S. auto plants totaled $9.5 billion, U.S., in 2017, creating or retaining more than 12,000 jobs.